All right, so we are on this job today to fix these posts. Um, as you can see, they're buried in the ground. Even though they are pressure treated, they are starting to rot. Um, there is concrete underneath the, I already dug this one out so you could see. Uh, well, just wanted to make sure there was concrete there. The bottom of the post, as you can see, starting to rot out. Um, there's no uh, anchors holding it down to anything so if you get really bad wind it will in theory pick up the deck or blow it over um, <clears throat> so my plan is to basically get this jack deck jacked up um, some supports under it so I can cut off the bottom of these posts. I have rebar I'm gonna drill into the existing concrete, put the rebar there. Um, I have anchors for the bottom of these posts and uh, fill it with concrete and get the concrete above grade level so there's no more rot issues. Now if we go over here, I already started this. We did it over here. Seems to have turned out pretty well. There's no issues. Um, the deck won't, or these posts won't rot anymore. I filmed this with my other camera and I got a new camera since. So we're gonna keep everything on this one. And I'm probably not gonna post the other video. Uh, obviously this one's much better um, so I'm gonna end up cleaning up down here making sure this is all nice and and clear again and make it look good and yeah let's get to work Uh, word of advice when you're uh, digging any post or really digging anything, put the dirt somewhere out of your way so you're not trampling over it all the time. Tripping over it, packing it down so you can't dig it up again. This becomes more of a hassle, more of a pain in your butt. Just make it more work for yourself. We got our holes dug, our post dug out. As you can see, there's not, the rut's not too bad on these. Uh, 
it's in there. That one's not doing anything. But I also did put a little pressure on the deck, so. But I know this one actually, that was loose before I put pressure on anything. Um, I'll have to find the pieces that I took out of the uh, other deck. Those were really bad, so we were figuring these would be pretty bad too. But uh, at least we'll fix them now so they don't get end up really bad and end up the deck falling down or leaning or doing anything funny. So my posts ended up measuring a little under seven and a half or about seven and a half. So I'm just gonna cut them off eight inches. That'll give me plenty of room uh, to get it in, get it nailed. Um, the last post is gonna be cut back a little bit more because that's quite a quite deep into the ground it was something like 12 inches uh, so I'll probably cut it back like 14 15 inches just to make sure I'm above the ground level I don't know if you can hear the obnoxious dog down the road I hate them little things big dogs are cool you know they're actually useful you can play play with them rough house with them but those little dogs man they're just accessories just put them in your purse they're junk they're useless how are they ever going to protect you when somebody comes to rob you? Uh, Alright, enough complaining. Let's get this done. So now we're going to start drilling our holes for the rebar into our existing concrete. Uh, that's so our new concrete won't uh, shift or slide and it'll uh, help bond it all together. Uh, you always want to make sure you have a nice clean surface when you're um, putting your concretes together too. So it'll help to clean it a bit before you start drilling so you have minimal and also so you don't get anything in the holes that you just drilled. Alright, so I'm going to put my sauna tube uh, piece on first because it's going to be a little difficult once the rebar is there to get it around that. Um, a quick little trick is using just a little nail and nailing it in to hold it up out of your way for a little bit. Uh, you know, put your nail in a place where nobody's going to see the hole. Nobody can complain.
So now that you have everything done, uh, you're gonna wanna go ahead and backfill uh, around the sauna tubes. That'll keep them in position and not letting them blow out from uh, the weight of the concrete. All right, so now we have our tubes all backfilled. I'm gonna go ahead, pour the concrete, and while, we'll, uh, after I'm done pouring the concrete, I still have a little time to uh, move things around. I'm gonna make sure all my posts are plumb. All right, so we got all the concrete poured looking pretty good uh, now I'm gonna go and make sure everything's plumb before it sets up too much and I can't move it anymore So we are back here today. I let all the concrete dry overnight uh, just to make sure it was solid before I started taking any uh, my temporary supports out. Everything looks pretty good. So I'm going to take out the temporary supports, um, get the gutter hooked back up, and clean up everything that I did the other day. Make everything look real nice. So let's get to work. say this job is done for now um, did a little extra with the garden up there cleaned it out for them got a decent pile of rocks over here that I ended up digging up um, I'll probably come back and add to the garden wall up here make it all real nice and a bit higher so they can get some uh, nice potting soil in here um, you know and just make this place look decent like I said, this was for my sister and her fiance right now, soon to be brother, um, or soon to be my brother, uh, and just want to do something a little extra for them, clean this all out so they can get it all real nice soon. Huh? Do the next one.